Hey Carb Geeks, I'm uh, just putting the finishing touches to a very important video. It turns out that literally last week, and I'm speaking at the end of uh, March 2022, literally last week we were able to finally, after about three or four years of trying, to actually get the amino acid um, tests in tanks, 50 gallon tanks, to work perfectly. Okay, now this will give us moving forward um, the perfect procedure to test other amino acid mixtures and things like that. Now, obviously, we know what happens with um, Impulse in the Wild <laughs> video, right? If you saw that uh, recent nuclear carp episode, okay, and um, you know, we've been having trouble trying to emulate that in a small volume of a tank, but now we're able to do it. And as you'll see in this video, it took a few tricks, okay? So if we <laughs> look at the, uh, the setup here, we have an interesting arrangement. So first things first, we have to have a constant flow of amino acids into the tank. So to make this happen, I have to use a special piece of uh, chemistry apparatus called a dosing burette or dispensing burette. It's a very large, basically, container which can drip amino acids into the tank. So I'm going to drip in 500 milliliters of impulse solution. Okay, an impulse solution, it's the equivalent altogether of 60 milliliters uh, in 500. Okay, so we're gonna, and it's also dyed, so you can see where it goes. So it's uh, 500 milliliters of solution, which is a 60 milliliter impulse equivalent, dyed black. Okay, and that dribbles in into a small, uh, it's basically a kid's sippy cup. Okay, so the sippy cup um, forms like a chimney. Okay, as you'll see when we watch the video, and that's very, very important. So the amino acids come in the bottom of the chimney and they push up and out. And the key finding is that as the amino acids push out, they're denser than water, so they kind of tumble over the edge of the cup. And you can see literally pulses or plumes of dyed amino acid solution coming out and then dipping into the gravel. And it's there where, the, where they dip into the gravel, where the fish begin to feed. Okay, And it works just like clockwork. As soon as we get a pulse of amino acid solution, gets into the gravel, fish hit it. Okay, And this is kind of uh, going to be tweaked, optimized moving forward, and, uh, but it's a very important finding. And as, you, and as you'll see, the fish go absolutely bananas. And this is, you know, again, our Impulse uh, 2.0 solution. All right, without further ado, <laughs> uh, let's roll that footage. <laughs> 